beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from our. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Guk Audio mini podcast. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So today is another of my DC, my uh, memories of uh, Shinru Suzuki, and uh, it's the, we're getting at the tail end of brief memories, and this is, I have a bunch of them here in brief memories, so I'll go over that a while. Oh, here I see I wrote this in uh, January 28th, 2016, <laughs> not long ago. Spent years at Tassajara getting four or five hours sleep. Staying awake in Zazen and elsewhere was a major problem for many of us. Suzuki Roshi encouraged it. He said, when you're tired, your ego is tired. He said it's best to get a little less sleep than you want. I don't know about that anymore. Huh. Now, I got less sleep than others. I will say that. Most people, after evening zazen, went right to their cabins, went to bed, and went to sleep. I tended to stay up for another hour or two, so I asked for it. Yeah, I was that way. Listen, I started doing that when I was in elementary school, and you know what got me into it? thats not, I don't mean what got me into uh, uh, staying up late like that. It's what got me into getting... Uh, less sleep. It's having a paper route. That was the most wonderful discovery. Getting up when it's still dark, like here I am, uh, you know, 10, 11 years old. And, uh, you know, having to go out and, and it gets cold in Fort Worth, Texas in the winter. And, you know, there can even be snow, <laughs> hardly ever, but uh, it can be colder than snow. Uh, and, and it can get hot in the summer and everything, but, of course, in the summer, the early morning, like it's very pleasant. But uh, anyway, I go out and get my papers and, uh, you know, put them in a bag and, and fold a bunch of them and start walking down and throwing them on porches. And there was this apartment building I had to go way up in and way down, no elevator, you know, just going up the stairs. Maybe it had an elevator, I didn't use it. It had to. I mean, it was like nine stories. Uh, but it was very small. It was, um, there was like, I don't know, two apartments on each floor. Uh, and um, uh, anyway, you know, I experienced sunrises and I experienced the quiet early morning, you know, with hardly any traffic, and it was a nice neighborhood, and mm, that was wonderful, and then, I don't know, I got into, uh, uh, I can't remember junior high so well, but in high school, I really got into getting four hours sleep, going to bed about midnight, getting up at four, drinking some coffee, writing poetry, listening to classical music and jazz, and doing homework. Uh, beforehand and afterwards, you know, being a BC student. Anyway, burning the candle at both ends. I remember Dan Welsh and I compared. He was worse than me. Uh, but not at Tassajara. Not at Tassajara. I was, Tassajara, I'd walk around at night in the dark. And I liked it when it was completely dark where I couldn't see anything. I got to know it that well. And I'd even go down to the baths. And uh, that was a little, ooh, eerie, you know, going down to the baths in the dark, dark, and taking a bath, and then going into the steam room. That was the real test of whether I could keep my sanity or not and going into the creek. In the summer, the creek would be cool and wonderful. In the winter, it would be a unbelievable shock. But anyway, uh, <laughs> this is what occurs to me when I think... Oh, but but uh, when I think of 
uh, Suzuki's um, uh, encouraging uh, uh, me personally uh, in my, you know, staying up late, because I stayed up late and studied a lot. I wasn't just walking around and going to the baths. I would stay up late and study, and he liked it. And, and even Miss Austin sometimes would be sleeping, and, and he'd encourage me. He thought it was great. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, I don't know. I'm sort of into not being sleep deprived now. It, I mean, definitely that's true for me now. I just wake up when I wake up, and I try to sleep more. And I tend to get six, seven hours sleep. Sometimes I get five or four. Sometimes I get eight or nine. You know, it's, I'm not regular. Anyway, you know, studies on sleep definitely indicate it's better for our health and better for our overall performance to get plenty of sleep. But I don't agree with them that everybody needs eight hours sleep. I can't sleep eight hours most nights, and I feel fine. Okay, um, so thank you, Suzuki Roshi, for <laughs> accepting my youthful habit of doing that and uh, for, I'm sure, accepting my practice now, I, I still sit every morning, but uh, just whenever I get up. my I do. I love to get up in the dark. That is my favorite. Okay, so, hey, so I can get up early tomorrow. I'm going to have to sign off here. This has been a Cuke Audio mini podcast. I'm DC Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives coming to you from Sleepy Sonor, with Dog and Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and dear, lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening.